Hello and welcome to craningforgrace.com. Today we're going to make this falling leaves card. We are using the Bunch of Blossoms stamp set and this card we've done in shades of blue. It was Pool Party, Marina Mist, and Dapper Denim. Today's card we're actually going to make in shades of green and for this one I chose the Mint Macron, the Wild Wasabi, and then the Outline in Garden Green. The sentiment is, today is the perfect day to be happy, all from the same set. We're going to stamp it on very vanilla paper. And this is three set stamping, so you've actually got the same shape for each leaf, and you can do it in a variety of colors. The base I'm actually going to do in the lightest color, which is the Mint Macron. And I want to go off the page to really give... The illusion that the leaves are falling. And I'm turning some around so they're not all facing the same direction. I'm going to use the second color and this one leaves a little bit of notch out of the color so this is the wild wasabi. And it's meant to have kind of a watercolor look, so you actually don't have to have it exact on here. And we are using the foam pad because anytime you're using a photopolymer stamp that has none of the rubber backing with the foam inside that has a give, if you use a foam pad underneath, you'll get a much clearer, crisper stamped image. This is the outline stamp we're going to do in Garden Green. I'm going to take our original stamp from Mint Macron and I'm going to stamp off the color. And what I want to do is just give an illusion of some flowing, falling leaves. I'm going to do the same thing with the second color. Again, stamping off in between. So this is our finished card. For the sentiment, I used the decorative label punch and I pre-stamped the sentiment. Today is the perfect day to be happy. We did that in garden green. And then the background that I chose is actually mint macron. And so we've cut that here. We're gonna use a bone folder to give us a nice crisp edge. And then I've also done some of the very vanilla ribbon in our mini catalog. And I cut a piece at five inches and a piece at three inches. And for something simple like this, I just like to add adhesive around the outside of all four edges. And we decide where we want to place the ribbon. about there and I always like to go back and add a little bit of adhesive over the ribbon so that it sticks really well and then I'm going to center that right on the base and I'm going to add some dimensionals and ours come in an octagon shape and I actually often cut them in half because many times we're using dimensionals on a smaller um, piece that needs to be popped up. So this makes that easy and the backings come off very easily. Center the little points right onto the ribbon. This is the one that's cut at about three inches. And all I'm going to do is tie a simple knot. I'm 
it's a matter of just playing with it to get it to lay the direction that you would like it to. And then taking some ribbon snips to make the ends pretty. Like that. And that is the finished card. Again, that's the Bunch of Blossoms set. Oops. If you have any questions, all the measurements will be on my blog. It's creatingforgrace.com. Thanks so much and have an amazing day.